At the top, you will see the menu bar with File, View, Extras, and other sections, where software settings can be changed, such as the language. On the far left is the Task and Management bar, which can be used to navigate within the Report and Route Manager software, RIO for short. Next to this is the option to cycle through the measurement databases. Below you will find the powerful filter options that allow filtering of plant data by time or date, machine, measurement type, or alarm state of measurement points. This filter refers to the plant hierarchy below, as well as to the view tabs. Configuration. This configures measurement points such as FFTs, sensor settings, bearing database assignment, annotations, and others. Journal. This keeps track of comments, acknowledged alarms, individual messages, and more. Analysis. This is the most important view, where measurement data analysis and diagnoses are carried out using cursors, axes settings, alarm displays, and other methods. Reports. This allows creation of basic reports, which means printouts of diagnosed data in PDF format. The reports start at machine level, but with multi-select, an enormous amount of content can be presented and reported on. Media allows an image or drawing to be assigned in versatile file formats to each level in your plant hierarchy. For example, to display measurement point positions on a specific machine. Now let's look at the tasks and management bar on the far left. It starts with the plant hierarchy, which includes the complete plant and machine, which first needs to be mapped into an empty database. Here the example database, Rio Demo, is selected. Now open machine levels. For example, a ventilator or generator. Once the generator measurement points have been opened, there is a choice to switch between either the Configuration View tab or the Analysis tab. Under the Routes selection, routes can be created for inspection from within your facility. The next items are Sensor Management and Comments, where you can create your own comments. Highlighted and separated by two horizontal lines are the connections to the VibroStore 100. The larger symbol indicates the Series 80 product line. Please note that some functions of RIO are only usable for Series 80. For more information, please refer to the VibroStore 100 user manual. The VibroStore 100 icon should be used when downloading routes and uploading data from the instrument to RIO. The next icon is used to manage measurement databases and where VibroStore 100 instruments are being used. Management of user accounts gives the possibility to assign different roles and attributes, for example, only viewing rights. The icon below allows management of machine templates to work more efficiently with certain machine types. Any machine template under Machine Template Database can be added to the plant hierarchy by right-clicking on it. This saves a lot of time in repeatedly creating multiple machines of the same type. Finally, the Bearing Database Management, which is an essential part in diagnosing REB rolling bearing failure modes. This covers all major bearing manufacturers. Navigate to the Manage Data Sources icon in the Task and Management bar on the far left. Click and create a new measurement database. Wait for the message that the database has been successfully created. Go back to the plant hierarchy in the bar on the far left. You will now be automatically taken to the new empty database. Check this by switching measurement databases under the Measurement Point Hierarchy icon in the filters. 
Start mapping plant and asset information by right-clicking in the Create a Plant Hierarchy, which you name Demo Plant. Note, all further steps are always done by right-clicking. Create a machine group, which can either be a site or machine train. Note, up to 12 levels can be created to divide large assets into areas or sections until you eventually get to the individual machine. Create a new machine and name it Demo Machine. For this example, it could be a pump. Create a new VibroStore 100 measuring point and name it Demo MP under Demo Machine. You should now be directly in the configuration of the measurements for this measuring point. Select and create additional measurement tasks in the Demo MP in the Measurement Tasks slots. Configure as follows. Task 1. In ISO 10816, overall 10 to 1000 Hz, millimeter per second, RMS. Task 2. A BDU which is a high-frequency vibration-related value for monitoring the condition of rolling element bearings. Task 3. A time signal according to ISO up to 1000 Hz for post-calculating a spectrum from the time signal in Task 4. Task 4. Select a DSP FFT and assign it to the time signal from Task 3. Also perform an ISO FFT. You should be able to automatically trend typical symptom overalls that may indicate unbalance, misalignment, or looseness. There is also the possibility to enter alarms for up to 10 monitoring bands for the FFT. Note the foolproof interactive GUI table for assigning alarm limits. According to ISO 10816, for classified machine types, for example, a pump with more than 15 kilowatts. Apply the ISO 10816 alarms by clicking on Apply ISO Limits. Go to the Roots icon in the bar on the far left directly under the icon for the plant hierarchy. Here, routes can be created, edited, and managed. Create a new route and name it Demo Route. In the route editor, you can select which asset parts to include in the route. This allows assignment of different routes within a large facility or different periodic route cycles such as monthly or weekly data collection, to be distinguished. In this example, we are transferring the entire demo plant to the demo route. After clicking the download icon, select Load to VibroStore 100 device. If using multiple VibroStore 100, these can be managed under the VibroStore 100 icon on the far left. Select the relevant instrument in the download dialog that appears VibroStore 100 is connected to the PC. Press the Start button to download the demo route. Transfer to the instrument is performed and information is displayed in Loading Log, including Loading Statistics. Close the dialog by clicking Close button. Perform the unload of the route with the taken data from VibroStore 100. After the VibroStore 100 with the measurement data has been physically connected to the PC, connection to the software is made by clicking on the VibroStore 100 icon in the bar on the far left. An overview of the used instruments will be displayed, as well as the routes on the top left corner. View the route you have taken, select it, and press Unload Route. The data will now be transferred from the VibroStore 100 to the DemoDB measurement database with the Demo Plant attachment. Next, the dialog for unloading the route will be displayed with a Discharge Log and Discharge Statistics 
containing all the important information. During unloading, the measured data is checked against alarm limits and displayed in the center if alarms are exceeded. An important feature is that when you double click on, for example, the yellow pre-alarm, the software takes you directly to the appropriate measurement point, so you can act very quickly. On the left side of the hierarchy tree, Demo MP will now display data from the four specified measurement tasks. Since the data uploaded from the demo route to the demo facility in this example is trivial, a special measurement point is prepared to show how the analysis of multiple data sets is performed after multiple, periodic uploading of measurement data. This measurement point is called Demo MP Analysis and consists of several tasks. Switch to the Analysis tab in the top center. First, let's look at the overall trend of task two, which has increased over time and as indicated by the cursor, triggered the red alert on the 2nd of October, 2020 at 10.40 p.m. The red alarm has already been checked during uploading and will be indicated by red marking in the plant hierarchy. Typical functions such as zooming or axis change are possible in the toolbar under the Analysis tab. All other functions can be found in the user manual. The time signals are shown only briefly and simplified, but are the input for the following DSP, Digital Signal Processing. We now move on to the DSP, the Digital Signal Post Processing, which in our example, we have also configured to look at either spectral data or the specific FFT. Above, you can see the FFTs. Below, we are offered to calculate the trends of 1x, typically unbalance, 2x, typically misalignment, 3x, for example, looseness. Please note, these are only indications. The dependency for a definite fault diagnosis on 1x, 2x, 3x is more complicated and requires further measurements to confirm diagnosis. Typical analysis characteristics could be view the FFT by clicking on the icon in the upper right corner. Display cursor values in the cursor readout area. Export the measurements to Excel. All other functions can be found in the user manual. It is common for a diagnostic technician to be interested in examining trends of 1x, 2x, and 3x, which are specific trend values, and simultaneously looking at the associated spectra for details. RIO solves this very conveniently by displaying the FFTs matching the current cursor trend value when moving the cursor in the trend. By selecting slot 8 and pressing the down arrow on the keyboard, the cursor can be moved within the trends to view each FFT and the cursor values in the cursor display area. You will see all values, graphs, and cursors change. This makes the analysis and diagnosis efficient. Finally, a report might typically be requested as a PDF from either a customer or a supervisor, which can be sent as an email attachment. To do this, Go to the Reports tab at the top right of the Analysis tab, which allows for a more general summary of the measurement data on the report. Please note, some cursor functions are duplicated for quick application to your report. The Analysis tab only allows for a very detailed printout of a single view, such as an FFT, while the Reports tab is used for a holistic, overall general analysis. Following the motto, what you see is what you get, you can simply select the entire measurement point in the plant hierarchy view and use the report menu item to resize it, view the configuration, and more. By pressing the print preview, you can print the report to a PDF. Many more functions and possibilities are available. To learn more, you can either read the detailed user manual or perhaps attend one of the training courses we offer at our training center.